willing wow. to do it. Um, oh, right. Because you know it costs to have a band out there playing. Yes. But I've I haven't had a I haven't had a solid band since the Universal Expressions. That was 2014 and 13, and I had them for a different lineup. But I always had, constantly had that band since 2007. So I've been pretty much solo for the last two years, oh. with maybe a, a duo here and there, or my longtime drummer who's been playing with me since Muddy Gumbo, Timmy Scott. He uh, he's been with me for sixteen years now. Oh my god! Yeah, so, isn't I'll bring that him something? Out for percussion sometimes, but this year, since we're going to feature a record, I'll try to take the band or a big chunk of the band out on the road with me as long as uh, we have room for it, and uh, they're up for whatever the pricing of the event will be. You know, cool. I'll have to get you and Michael together. It'd be fun. And um, we'll see who else. Lights of Georgia Jade. They're, I don't know if they're both going to be able to make it this year, but we'll try. But anyway, enough about them. <laughs> so um, anyway, it, it's really nice that you're out and about all the time. I mean, I see you playing here locally a lot. And the people of Michigan just love you. And I can't believe that it took me so long to find you. We oh. were friends on Facebook. Yeah. And... Yeah. And it just kind of happened. And I love when the universe does that. It brings me somebody wonderful like you. Oh, thank you. And, and it's really nice cool. to know you. Yes. Yeah, it's nice to be able to get asked to do something by somebody you don't know because that's what usually branches out to your next cool events, you know. And, oh, right. I mean, I, it's it's hard to get out there enough as it is because everybody wants something around, but nobody's willing to take a risk. Oh, and right. if they don't know who you are, sometimes they won't. Right. You know? So to have somebody just reach out for you, that's a beautiful thing. Good. And it was meant to be, I I think. I love it. So will you sing one more for us? Sure. Sure. Cool. We're here with Scott Baker live at the W4 Diva studio on the corner of 3rd and Washington. And you could have been here too. Too bad. (laughs) Here's a song called I Swear. And it's a damn shame you got to hide your heart away. Tough change you pretend then leave where it's a game that you know you play Taking sides for a ride, flip the coin you win Dust doesn't settle like the rain Like tossing ice into a flame Just passing by, making time you ever feel the same Damn shame you got to hide your heart away. Tough change you pretend then look away. Damn shame you got to hide your heart away. Tough change you pretend then look away. How to break out will never tell And darkness becomes something you can't all run Don't you remember how it used to be Open up them doors so you can't see Shame you got to hide your heart away. Tough change you pretend then look away. Damn shame you got to hide your heart away. Tough change you pretend then look away. change you pretend then look away damn shame you've got to hide your heart away tough change you pretend then look away thank 
Thank you. Very good. Very nice. So we learned some good things from you today. You know, Diva Dialogue is all about um, helping people basically or just sharing, just sharing insights. And some of the stuff that you said were perfect. It was so perfect. Um, don't get pigeonholed. Yeah. And that's so important. And don't be afraid. No, no, definitely. And why do you think those things are so important for everybody? I think people get locked into um, showcasing a specific expectation for people. And whether it be your family or your boss, um, there's something inside that drives you that you were born with. And you need to make sure that it stands out. I mean, because that's essentially going to be where your smile is. So. Very good. I, I love that. And then once you find your smile, don't be afraid to share it. No. Spread the joy. It spreads the joy of everybody else. And if <laughs> yeah. everybody was in a good mood all the time, everything would go a lot smoother. Right. And, Even uh, half the time. Everybody was in a good yeah. mood. <laughs> Even half, half the, the time. time. Lord knows. I, at the day job, you could tell that... Uh, <laughs> Some people need a little more smiling in their right, life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh gosh, every day. You know, you go to the store and the people waiting on you at at um like Yonkers or someplace like that. And I, it just your heart just aches for them sometimes because they have not discovered that yet. No. And especially there's there's some in the, you know, you're going to college or they're in school and it's it's hard not to be you have expectations because you're still young and mm-hmm. you, you have your family that's a big, uh, around you, they, they empower some of your thoughts or, you know, whatever your daily life is and, uh, school is that way or clicks or whatever, but it's, you, you've got to, um, stand up for who that person was originally and, or at least be able to go out and experience it and find it. And, you know, in it, in having a positive light and a positive energy, that's where, that's where you need to focus that. I mean, mm-hmm. if, if anybody can do it, if everybody could do that, it, you know, we would all be sitting in a lot better place. Right. I agree with you wholeheartedly. So, um, who is Scott Baker? What what is um what is like the most important thing to you? Well, my twins are everything. That's that's very important. It's making sure that they uh get to be who they want to be and do nice. what they want to do and, uh, you know, follow, follow procedure without talking back to dad. And mom, <laughs> you know, but they're, I have a pair of really good kids. And I'm they're so very grateful. cute too. Oh, so they're grateful. really cute. I mean, I've seen some hellions out there yeah. and you know, that's, that's their inner child, but you know, mine, mine are very, uh, there's times where we have, we have a challenge. There's not going to be a time when, you know, everybody's going to have a challenge. Right. But I, I'm very, I'm blessed with two beautiful children. Uh, my, uh, my music obviously is my, where I want to be, where my heart's always been at. You know, that's my guiding light, you know, just experiencing it and as long as I can and being able to either perform it or listen to it. I'm a huge music listener. I've, I've got to have CDs and records and, uh, read music books. I mean, I don't, I don't huh. read like, uh, Regular magazines, I read music magazines. Hmm. You know, it's just one of those things. And uh, going out to share that with people, if somebody likes it, I mean, it starts out small in your backyard, but if somebody likes it, then you can branch out and hopefully share that with others. And that, that means the most to me. You know, nice. Getting your smile out there, like I said earlier. Very good. Yeah. What's next? Well, I'm hoping to... Uh, I, I would like to record... Um, some kind of greatest hits live thing. Ooh. Not greatest hits, but like all the stuff that's been popular of mine over the years. Ooh. I have had no hits. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like they'd have something where, you know, as an independent artist, you, you want to have something that kind of compiles uh, the stuff that really did well for yourself. I think I, it's time for me to go out and take, mm. and I've got a really good band right now. So yeah. my first thought on my mind is, woo, I got to get these songs down with these guys. Nice. And, and yeah. I have a lady in my band. And uh, she's something else, Bianca Henneke. She's this world-class p- keyboard player, Ooh. piano player, vocalist, s- saxophone, guitar. You wow. name it. She's a multi-instrumentalist. She came out of Essexville, and I just got to meet her um, in the middle of last year, and she helped me wrap up my record. She's out of this world. So to sing alongside of her and have this fantastic band with Bob McComb on guitar and uh, Matt DeHughes on bass and my longtime drummer, Timmy Scott, who's a... Uh, He's my he's my encyclopedia. He mm-hmm. can tell me the night that I sneezed uh, <laughs> back when I did whatever, and you know he puts it all together for me. Isn't he's, that something? He's he's just 
he's like my my missing brother link musically so huh. and then you know go out and share it with others I, i'd like to get that out and then immediately get back in the studio and do another record because it's been three years since my last record three or four now and uh to have this one out it took a while i uh I really upgraded my studio. I really learned how to utilize it, but then I lost a lot of files. Oh. And I started searching around for other people to be on it, and that took a lot of time for all the guests. I have uh, Brandon Calhoun on it, Larry McRae, Adam Levy from Nora Jones Band. He's, oh, nice. He's a guitar player on my record on a couple tracks. Um, and then a lot of local friends, but getting them to your recording facility is a, not the easiest thing. Right. So I think I really would like to go in, not go to record, yeah, at least faster than I did before, you know, not just knock them out, but I, right. I know how to do it right now, and I don't really need to go after the guests this time. I think I think I'll go out. I have two ideas, the live the live record, and then a singer song and acoustic record, because I've never done one, Ooh. as well as a full brand new band album with this awesome band, so good three ideas, I guess. so we have yeah. things to look forward to oh, coming totally, from yeah. you excellent my uh my wife's she knows I gotta upgrade some of my studio and do some more tweaks i found out some more cool stuff to do and uh thanks to andy reed who's helped me every step of the way of designing my home studio uh he's a local producer artist nice he's in he was in the birth pipe for a while and he plays uh in the legal matters right now he's he's the go-to guy in the state for recording music right now he's right here as well and basically wow, nice he's helped me get my sounds and and i know how to go about it now Excellent. So. Yeah, it's always good to have somebody like that, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Just so that you can call and ask sometimes. Oh, just to have that experience. I mean, I, I, I was lucky I got to work with Dick Wagner at WAMG Records at his studio in Saginaw mm. from 99 through uh, 2003 or 2000. 2003, so you learn a lot. Oh, I got to sit behind watching him produce mm-hmm. sessions and how he worked his stuff in. He l- utilized a lot of my gear back then. Uh-huh. And that's when I formed Muddy Gumbo. And uh, we were actually on his record label back then, which was this little record label that he had. He was just like, yeah, you can be on it. All right, great. Fun. Sounds good. But to see those guys put their ideas in action, and then, you know, as, a, as it became a more of a computer thing to, to go with Andy and just hear all this wonderful music that he gets to create from huh. all these different styles and genres and just pick his brain about how to go about things. And he's so cool on uh, helping. He, nice. He's the most... By far the most helpful guy in the Tri Cities area, if not the state, when it comes to um, promoting and being kind to local music, he he'll uh, he'll give you the code off his back to to get the music out there. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or if you're well established. He's Aww. he's the kind of guy you want to go to, and I'm thankful he's in our backyard here. Very good. How fun! So you you um love what you do, and it shows. It it really shows, and you just look like a really happy guy. And, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think we're very fortunate to have you as one of our friends here at W4 Divas, and thank you for being part of Oh, well, thank you for having us. me here yeah. and letting me be part of your events. Thank oh, you. our pleasure, that. believe me. I should say my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we have time for one more. Will you do one more? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do an older one. Okay. Yeah, let's do a... Uh, a song off my second record. This is if I had a hit, this would have been the only one that would have been right here because this has more downloads than any song I've ever sold. And we were playing it out uh, before the album came out. This, uh, the details and desire album, and people were asking where can I get that song. So it's, I think you may have heard it at your uh, your last event that I played, but uh, it's called "Getting There." Everybody seems to like this song. I'm now, now, I hear you say I never thought the sun would come out today I light my path just to find my way And while I'm getting there, everything will be okay Cause back in the day, when we were young Growing up seemed to take so much time Searching for a song that had been unsung and we're rapping in like a berry on the vine. And fresh out of school, didn't know what to do. We're taking our own path that never gave us a clue. 